Hello from Seattle. My name is Lewis Lin, and I'm here to talk about a framework to help you make your way through metrics questions. And that framework is the one that I invented called the ARM method. Step one in the ARM method is all about acquisition. And acquisition is about how do you get customers. Uh, when it comes to acquisition, there's a lot of different acquisition metrics out there. Uh, it could be the number of downloads for a mobile app or maybe the number of email signups for a web application. After you consider acquisition, the next logical step is to think about activation. Just because we got somebody to download a mobile app or to fill in their email address on the website doesn't mean that they actually use the product. And so how do you convince that particular user to actually open up that mobile application? How do you convince that web user to continue and fill in that complete that sign-up process where they include their first name, their last name, upload their, pro, uh, their uh, profile photo, etc. After we've got them activated on our platform, the next thing that we want to think about is retention. And retention, I think about synonymously with the word engagement. And so how do we actually get people to use the product for very long periods of time? When it comes to engagement metrics, we can think about metrics like daily active users, we can think about time spent on site, the number of people doing some sort of beneficial activity on our platform, such as uploading photo, uh, files into a Dropbox uh, platform. And then the last piece to think about is monetization. It's great that they're using their, our product, but clearly we have to make money somehow, and that's what monetization is all about. When it comes to monetization, there's a lot of different metrics to think about. You can think about uh, average revenue per user, which is called ARPU. You can think about conversion rates, and conversion rates can be defined in a lot of different ways. When it comes to B2C e-commerce companies, conversion rates can be defined as the percentage of website users that go on to make a purchase, which is usually about two to three uh, percent. For a B2B website, like a company like Salesforce.com, it could be the percentage of website visitors that go on to perhaps sign up for a webinar or the percentage of website visitors that go on to download a white paper, for example. Um, and then the last thing that you can think about when it comes to monetization metrics, you might want to think about lifetime value. And so those are the four steps to the ARM uh, framework, and it's a great way to help stimulate uh, your mind when it comes to brainstorming metrics at the metrics interview.